Hey YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives and Lights with a review of the Lumen Top TD16. A very high quality tactical style flashlight. Comes with that nice belt holster which has a belt loop, D-ring, and a Velcro overflap. This light has many desirable features. You see the removable pocket clip. It also has an anti-roll collar. And that allows you to operate this in the cigar grip if you so choose. It also lets you side stand the light. The light is also able to tail stand. And you see it has a crenellated bezel, which allows you to set the light down without scratching the lens. And you can also strike with that bezel as well. Now this has what they call momentary on, if you just half press the tail switch, it will stay on as long as you have pressure on it. Very important tactical feature. Right, and to turn the light on, you just press that tail switch, and then the side switch is a mode changing switch. Three brightness levels, 1000 lumens maximum. Strobe coming up. You just long press the side switch and you get strobe. One more press will bring you to SOS mode and press it one more time and you get the beacon special mode. This takes an 18650 battery and to install it you just unscrew the tail cap from the body of the light. I'm using a lumen top battery and mine came with a battery. All right, I'll include an Amazon link and uh, you gotta check which store to see if uh, yours comes with a battery. Size comparison from left to right, Claris XT11S, then the Lumen Top, then a Thrunite T30S, and a Thrunite uh, TC10. Right, these all take the same type of battery and they have basically the same design. Those were all tactical lights. Now here is a comparison with a Sun Wayman T26C, which is an EDC light, you know, it basically strives to be compact and fit in your pocket. These use the same type of battery, but the tactical light has uh, features such as a deeper reflector, a strike bezel, it's long enough to strike with, it has that uh, anti-roll collar, and the momentary on feature. So it has longer range, you can strike with it, and it's basically optimized for tactical situations. Here is the beam profile of the TD-16. You can see by that highway of light down the center that this is going to have good range. And a comparison of beam profiles from a Nightcore MH20 and the Lumentop TD-16. So these are both rated at around 1000, all right? And you can see they're almost, they're around equally bright. At this time, let's roll in some outside demonstration footage with this light in the middle of the night. All right, out on the front steps. Yeah, you see it's pretty bright. Note the uh, the nice focused hot spot as I cycle through the three modes there. Yeah, this is gonna have great range. Now there I'm shining it from the front steps to uh, a bush, a piece of vegetation at the very edge of the property. All right, it's a very nice range as I pan around. And here's some short range uh, beam shots on the old testing board. Right, as I said, it's got three modes, the maximum being 1000, and it's quite bright, but it also has good range. All right, you see I switched to the reverse grip. Yeah, like I said, it's a tactical light. It's meant so you can use it in this grip too, which is often taught uh, with the use of a handgun. And the strobe is coming up. Very important feature for a tactical light. Disorienting strobe and shining it at a piece of vegetation. Yeah, that's how dark it was. You see it's pitch black, middle of the night. Again, the reverse grip. If that was a person, you know, you'd see everything. Right, very bright, close up. Longer range shots, I'm perched up in the second story window. Right, and zooming in. Yeah, look how bright it makes it down there. That hot spot widens out to a nice usable footprint, right, at backyard ranges, all right, which is going to be a common engagement range for home defense. And it even reaches farther to those chairs, all right? And when I pan out, I mean, look how far back I am. That's pretty far. I mean, I'm perched way up there in a window. Yeah, I mean, this has good range. This has very good range. 
You know, you could see everything. If those were trespassers, you'd have them cold. Yeah, pretty impressive tactical light. I mean, it's got all the bells and whistles. All right, it's not a budget light, but, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for, especially in this case. I mean, it just has all the features you might want. Now, this is available on Amazon. Lumentop themselves gave me a, a discount code to pass on to you. Okay, so more information on that discount code will be in the text box. So it's a very high quality light. Now, does your average homeowner need a tactical light to just look behind their water heater or something? No, no. Um, this is more for when it really counts, you know, confronting trespassers or uh, something even more sinister. I recommend this if you need a well-made tactical light with great range. Hope you enjoyed seeing it. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. I'm out.